Hello and welcome to another session of the Business Renovator. I'm your host, Coach Phil, and today we're going to talk a little bit about news resolutions, goals, and what you're looking forward to in 2022. I get shit done, I have fun, it's my time and I'm the one, I'm breaking through. Yeah, so New Year's resolutions. Um, I read a report that said about 46% of people who set them achieve them. The others don't. So I don't have all the answers, but I'm going to talk to you about a few of the things that I'm aware of that uh, you might find useful as you set uh, forward to the new year, 2022, to make it the best year for you. Having a flight plan or a plan period is probably a, a really good start. Uh, what are you going to do over the next 90 days in order to make your New Year's resolutions come to uh, fruition to be successful? What are some of the New Year's resolutions that you're going to uh, want to make? Here's some of the uh, ones that I've uncovered based on doing a little bit of research. Um, these are the top 10 for most people. So it's um, exercise, losing weight, uh, getting organized. That's a good one. If you get organized, uh, um, well, actually all of them are good. If you, but if you get, or, get organized, uh, it clears up the clutter and it turns on the creative juices and energy to get more stuff done, more likely to uh, have the resolve to continue on with your New Year's resolutions so that you don't fall into the category of the 46% of the people who don't get them done. The good news about the 46% part, up, actually I got that backwards, Tony, 46% of the people who set resolutions get them done. So you do want to be part of that crowd, not the other one. So to increase your probability of making that happen, um, cleaning up your messes would be a good idea. Um, Dropping weight, if you're a smoker, don't be a smoker. If you want to do any of these, um, find a reason why. That's the theme of what I'm going to be talking about today. It's really kind of finding a reason why. So a tool or a methodology that I find that's been re really useful for me and my clients is to actually create a 100 success list. And um, leveraging the successes from the past from last year and beyond. So if you were to think about all the successes, all of the things you've done, learned, become, developed skills-wise, um, tragedies that you've overcome and list them, because if it was a tragic event and you're on the other side of it, that's a success, that's a win. It may not be one of your favorite ones, but remember you're on the other side of it. So um, you want to relish that. So go back to when the first thing that you've ever done, that was being born. So from that time to where you are today, build a success list and list your 100 successes so that when you get that nagging saboteur negative mind that's trying to talk you out and keep you stuck in your habitual thinking, in your isness, uh, you've got some tools and resources already to help you with it. So 100 success list or more. So I'll maybe call it a 100 plus success list. Once you've got that done, then you can peel off the top 10 of your successes and borrow those feelings and those emotions to help you stay true to your resolutions for 2022. Because you can flick back and flick up those past emotional successes and bring them into the future. They don't have to have anything to do with what you want to be in 2022. Just the fact that you had that success. For me, one that still has a charge was when I was appointed the captain of the Pee Wee hockey team. And um, that still resonates with me when I want to take what is seemingly extraordinary, i.e. New Year's resolutions, and turning them into more ordinary, um, just like me, second nature, so that I can develop uh, the, the resilience and the tenacity to um, achieve them. Uh, another tool that's really useful, I find, is if you have... Um, an idea of what your ideal life story is. Like if you were to write your own <clears throat> Stephen King novel about your life as if it's already unfolded and you're going to turn it into a movie or write a novel, either one, what would it look like? And just know that you, everything that you need to make that happen 
is available to you because it's all fantasy. So whatever your mind can come up with in, in your imagination, write it in that story, bring it up, share it, share it with yourself. And then from there, well, then what do you do? Well, there's a couple of things. And uh, one of the things I like in this quote here by Steve Jobs, he says, if you're working on something uh, exciting that you really care about, you don't have to be pushed. The vision will pull you. So getting yourself in a state of mind so that you're pulling yourself towards your ideal outcome for 2022, your new resolutions, is a much healthier strategy versus uh, trying to do it on a push. Pushing is more like I have to do it. And if I don't do this, um, you know, I'll be a schmuck or whatever you want to call that. But what I would ask you to do is do things on a um, pull it basis. I've got a bunch of people popping in here and I'm going to bring you up. So stay, stay where you are, guys. I'll bring you up shortly. Uh, also, the other thing is to stay hungry and stay foolish. Um, I wouldn't, uh, the foolishness that I'm thinking of is if you're childlike, not childish, but childlike where they have that freedom of expression and the essence, they're not afraid to express who they are. Uh, they could be talking to themselves and actually living their own movie in their imagination, acting out, being a, uh, I don't know, could be riding on a broomstick and pretending that's a horse and they're in a Western movie, or maybe they're uh, one of King Richard's knights. Who knows? They don't care what we think at that young age. So be childlike in everything you do. And decide what is it you really, 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 really want. What do you really, 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 really want? Because if you don't really, really want it, just as Steve Jobs said earlier in that other slide, uh, you're not going to have the energy and tenacity to do it. It'll be a have to versus a want to. So I'm going to just take a break here and acknowledge some people that have popped in. Look at that. Here's Kellen. Looking forward to another year of your knowledge and friendship. I'm looking forward to your amazing uh, wowsome. I have a new word I coined because she has some products that if you haven't seen them, you're crazy. You need to go check them out. She does everything that helps people have a wow experience. And here's Mr. Coachman. Good morning, Charles. Happy New Year's to you. And may uh, 2022 be the most amazing year for all of you. And a horror story. Well, maybe, maybe that's, well, <laughs> I have no comment on what to say on that one. And this buddy here, he was just on my show the other day. He's a brilliant guy when it comes to doing uh, video and streaming and uh, video for marketing. He's brilliant at it. If you don't know who he is, you need to find out who he is because his name is Bruce Himmelblah. And he's uh, actually does a lot of work with uh, some other people that uh, I know as well. Thanks for popping in, guys. Um, get me back on track here. So... Um, when writing the story of your life, I, I like this. I didn't come up with this. I saw this, and I, I just think it's brilliant. Don't let anyone else hold your pen. It's your story, not theirs. Don't let them take the wind out of your sails, as Jim Rohn used to say. Set your own sails to your own wind. Catch the wind that you want that's going to take you to where you want to get to. So a 90-day flight plan it was what I started off with. And really, uh, for the news resolution is to decide what it is you really, really want. That's a great starting point. And um, developing a plan. So starting is a great, you got to start somewhere. It's the end of the year. It's a reset to uh, um, look at what you did last year. There are things that you want to accomplish from last year that you want to move into 2022. And there's, there's some things in 2022 that you hadn't, thought about yet because now you're taking the time to sit down think about what you would like to do so one of the things that i've learned along the way is that we have this thing called self-talk uh when i do these at live events and i ask my audience they said uh do you talk to yourself and people go i don't know do i talk to myself i don't think i talk to myself and what are they doing they're talking to themselves we all talk to ourselves all the time I don't know how the uh, experts have identified it, but they're suggesting that 80% of what we say to ourselves and our self-talk is negative. What I want to share here, though, is a cycle of self-talk. We get a thought or an idea, and then we create a picture or an image around what that looks like. And then as we think about that picture, um, emotions start to show up uh, and feelings enter into the scheme of things. And as we get the emotions going, then we add additional thoughts or we get more specific with our thoughts and our ideas, which then gives us a better, clearer um, image to look at 
And as we're doing that, it adds fuel to the emotions and the feelings, which then cycles around. Now, this works both positively and negatively. People who worry do the same thing. It's just that the outcome they're looking at is the thing they don't want to have happen versus the thing they do want to have happen. So on today's show, what I'm asking you to do, because we're planning for 2022, is to focus on what you really, really, really want. And don't be worried about uh, things that you can't control that you're worried about. Uh, turn the worry into possibility. So a way to uh, set goals is to divide them into three categories. Good, great, and wow. Uh, Kellen, I think you'll like that. I didn't steal that from you, but um, I'm going to tie you to it, metaphorically. <laughs> So the idea of the good, great, wow is that we actually have horizons, three different horizons. So if you set a good goal of X amount of dollars in revenue or a number of um, holidays you've taken or miles you've traveled, whatever that might be, um, and then decide uh, what would be a great level and what would be a wow level. And as you have these three horizons to move towards, what ends up happening is Instead of using just one goal to go after for 2022, like the good, you have multiple goals. And what that does is stops you from flattening out as you get closer to the good. And as you get closer to the good, then you can start looking forward beyond the good and pay attention to what the great could be. And the same process happens with the wow. So a good would be a, a goal that has a stretch that gets beyond what you've done previously, but really attainable and aligned with your goals. And then the great would be a stretch goal further out than anything you've ever done. And the wow is wow, way out there. And as you're moving towards each one of them, as you get closer to the good, as I mentioned before, you can start looking towards the great. And as you get started getting close to the great, you can start looking for the wow. And even if you don't get the wow, just think of the things that you've done to get from good to great and perhaps closer to wow. Somewhere in between great and wow would pretty be pretty darn good, I'm thinking. Now, the other trick to this to make it uh, impactful and make it stick for you is for each one of those horizon levels, good, great, and wow, is have yourself uh, a goal uh, reward. So as you reach that goal uh, and you've achieved it, then you reward yourself. In that inner person, the critic, will become uh, your friend because it starts to see some of the fruits of your labor and feels them. So it's going to be a, more of a coach than a critic. And it's often defined as that little person, that little guy, that little gal inside of you. And they'll start to be your champion and get you to push yourself to uh, a great and a wow on a want to choose to love it basis. So um, there's one way to move towards your goals um and and have the multiple horizons think of the things that you would like to do in 2022 uh, these are just a few things uh, vision creativity inspiration evaluation teamwork focus um i'm going to go to another slide here this one here is really simple when i first saw it i thought it was so simple who would use this and i've been using this now for 14 years and now that i understand the impact of it simplicity is very powerful divide your life into four categories Health and fitness, see that's at the bottom. Then to the left, uh, relationships, that's both personal and professional. Over to the right is your career, your vocation, your business. And then you're at the top is financial. Where do you want to be financially? How much of a pot of gold do you want to have for your retirement or whatever it is you're doing? Uh, building a business, growing a business, expanding a business, turning your business into a franchise. It doesn't matter to me what your goals are, but it damn well better matter to you because you're the one who's going to need to do and want to do the things that move you towards that. So how the diamond map works is this is a way for you to check in with yourself as to where you are on your journey. Um, so between zero and 10 on each one of the axes, make a mark. Where, where are you today, your current reality? All of the experts uh, talk about that. Um, you got to start with the end in mind. But before you can start with the end in mind, you need to check in where you are today. In all four of those areas, make a mark. Um, see, see if I can indicate that with this. Uh, well, maybe my, you can see with my mouse. Make a mark somewhere further out from the zero, zero and somewhere between 10. And if you're 10 already, fantastic. Now you get to go 10 plus. Um, but if you're not a 10, 
where are you today? What's your current reality? And then make that mark in all four areas. Once you've done that, then connect all of the current reality, zero to wherever you are, dots. Now that you've got that done, where do you want to be at the end of 2022 or beyond? But what do you need to do in 2022 to help you get beyond that in a pre uh, future years? And mark that. So it's the gap between the current reality and um, the ideal future that we want to focus on. And that's where the goal setting is a crucial way to help you get there. Now, Bruce had talked about this, aka SMART goals. I'm going to change the slide here to something a little bit different that I, I, I came up with. And it's uh, actually SMARTER goals. And I like SMARTER goals better than SMART goals. Um, and the reason being is that some of the components are the same, specific, measurable, aligned with your core values versus uh, attainable. But who's to say whether they're attainable or not? Only you are. Um, so are they aligned with your core values? And if they don't align with what you're about, well, then you're going to be out of sync and not, probably not going to do the things that are uncomfortable to do to get there. Uh, do they resonate with you? Instead, are they realistic? Do they resonate? Again, it's that energy, uh, emotional connection to the end result you're trying to do. Timeline, yeah, have an idea what timeline you'd like to have it. And then enthusiasm. Um, the last four letters of enthusiasm, if you know, are I, A, S, and M, which stands for, in my world, I am sold myself. So if you were sold yourself on the idea of getting the goal, you're more likely to get her done. Um, that's why enthusiasm is part of it. And again, reward yourself for the things that you're doing to move you towards the end result that you ideally want to have. Now, that's one way to set goals and measure them. Uh, there's another way, though. You can act like, as if you are, have that already, and you can do that through an aff affirmation. So the next slide is I am, what is it you want to be? I am wealthy. I am resilient. I am tenacious. Um, those are just other ways to make them happen. So. Um, I don't have an image of it. I, that would have been smart of me to do that. Uh, I've created a 30-day challenge for myself and, and whoever else wants to do it. And the 30-day challenge is for me over the next um, month of January, I guess is really where I'm going to go with that, is, and I can't share my iPad, which is where the uh, image is for me, but here's the affirmation statement that I have for myself. I can succeed. All that is possible to anyone is possible to me. I am successful. I do succeed for I am full of the power of success. So that's the challenge I'm doing for myself a couple of times, uh, or actually a couple of minutes in the morning and a couple of minutes in the evening. You um, Focusing in on that and thinking about what's 2022 going to be like actually for me. <clears throat> I had a wonderful dream. It was way too early in the morning, but it was so exciting. I saw myself being introduced to people uh, of authority that could make decisions. And it was like I had become the expert in the area that they were looking for solutions to a problem I was getting recommended. So this now then takes me from setting the goals, having the affirmations, to seeing myself at my future best. And here's a couple of ways that you can help in increase the emotional connection to the goal that you want to have. And that is to uh, create the end result that you're looking to grow into. And these are samples of uh, images and of other people's. I don't have mine all put together and fancy yet. Uh, well, actually, I do have it. You know where I have it? Uh, I'm actually putting mine into, um, oh, what's the name of the app I use? Jason Economides, you are a mind reader. Tell me what it is. Um, oh, it's an Evernote. So in Evernote, I've put pictures of places I want to go, people I want to see, what my body physically looks like at the end of 2022, and I'm pretty handsome then, and I've dropped a bunch of weight. So I'm pretty excited about that image and growing into it. So you can do the same thing, but just thinking about it isn't enough. Thoughts are the seeds to help us get there, but we need to, uh, time to plan, and then we need to take some actions. So what actions are you going to take for yourself in 2022? to help you get to where you want to be. So let's pop in a few people here jumping in. Uh, Eric, my buddy, who's everything about pizza, eating them, uh, helping them stay crispy and fresh. And he says, we focus on things. We'll 
stop doing, focus on thing. Oh, focus on things to add to your life. Starve your distractions. I like that. Starve your distractions. That's a great idea. Because Harv Eker says where thoughts go, energy flows and results show. So if we're focusing on the things we don't want, um, we're more likely to move towards them. Thanks for that brilliance, Eric. And this is my buddy in uh, a little place called London, England. I haven't talked to him or seen him for a while. Howdy, Jason. Good to see you, buddy. And Eric says, I'm resolute to be a guest on this live show in 2022. That's good. Did I send you the link yet for the calendar? Let's get you on, Eric. Let's share your wisdom. So here we are, hours away. Actually, friends of mine in Australia, apparently they're already, uh, they're past it. It's already here. They're in the new year already. We're lagging behind. So uh, 2022, what are you going to do? Whatever it is, whatever your dreams are, um, believe in them. Um, they were given to you for a reason. Huh, interesting, eh? So, as always, remember to uh, be wonderful. The you and wonderful is there a purpose because it represents you. You are very unique and you are wonderful. So, go act like it for the rest of 2022 and beyond. But let's start with 2022. Wishing you all a happy new year, uh, healthy, wealthy, prosperous, whatever it looks like for you. If you know of somebody that has a message that would be um, of interest to the world, let's have them um, on the business renovator. If you like what you've seen on here, please uh, let us know. And if you're watching this on a replay, go hashtag replay and let us know where you are coming in from. And with that, have a hell of a wonderful, happy new year. Until next year. Oh, wait, here, here's some wisdom. I can't leave without the wisdom. The biggest misstep out of this whole process is not the specificity, not the measurability, not the achievability or the... That's, I can't even say that. Not the realisticity, but the timed part. To get these goals done, you have to plan them, set time targets, and all in between the steps to get to the goal. So that's wonderful sage advice for my buddy who's um, an interesting dude. He's an airplane pilot. I believe he became a pilot, a boyhood dream, uh, but not until he was 46. Prior to that, he had other successes. He's a musician. He's a great expert in marketing. And um, all around good guy. Oh, yeah, we need accountability. That's why business coaching or having a coach, period, whether it be for uh, health or fitness or anything, having an accountability partner is very important. There you go. Great advice, Jason. Um, I'm going to drop out of here. And again, wish you all Happy New Year. Make it wonderful. Be wonderful again yourselves. And let's uh, see you on the other side of 2021. I get shit done. I have fun. It's my time and I'm the one. I'm breaking through